Would you just work? Your solified generator generates some solified already. God. Maybe I need the artifact. At least that's what the comment section says. So yeah, we made this for no reason at all. Uh, but once we get the artifact, apparently I can activate this and it will create some solified for us. And speaking of solified, I didn't even realize on the last episode I picked up a solified ore, so I have some. Still don't know what it does. Probably gonna be used for some recipes later down the road, like uh, blueprints and stuff like that. So uh, we could probably build some really cool stuff in the future but enough about the future let's talk about the present today we're going to be advancing the story just a little bit when you find those red computers inside of the bunkers it then marks a location on your map basically it's telling you where to go next and we have since unlocked two locations one was the food bunker and then the other one was maintenance bunker c so we're going to take a look at both of those today and I'm glad it's raining because I need some more water in these things. Yeah, they're filling back up. Okay, good. I just emptied both of them filling up my canteen. So let's go. The food bunker is not far away at all, as you can see from my map there. We have to cross this little bit of water right here, and then basically we are there. Oh, I know this lake. I think when I played the alpha, I actually lived on that island. Land? Oh, no. Don't be in the water. Oh, God, that's going to be so hard to get out. Let's see, can I just push it to the shore? Yeah, okay. Maybe it won't be that hard after all. Let's just get it over here. And now I should be able to grab it. Okay, good, good. Yeah, I lived right there on that island. The uh, cannibals couldn't get to me during the summertime. But during the winter, the whole lake froze. So you still needed defenses. But it was nice for half the year not to have to worry about them. I landed a little prematurely because I do remember... Was it this boat? I don't know. I kind of remember something being around here. Maybe not. Either way... It's just over here where we need to go to the food bunker, so let's keep heading this direction. Hey, thanks for all the comments on the last video. I really appreciate that. Love reading them over. Uh, I asked you guys also about the night vision goggles or the flashlight. And, you know, some of you said you don't care. Some of you said do the NVGs. Some of you said do the flashlight. So either way, I think it'll just be a situational thing. If I want to use my bow, I'll just toss on the uh, night vision goggles. When I'm not using my bow, we'll do the flashlight. So we'll just kind of switch it up here and there. Oh, this must be the place. We've got some old golf carts, which means some more batteries for me, which as I am finding out are very useful because of some of the traps. And we made the coolest trap yesterday. If you missed yesterday's video, go check it out. It's on the screen. We made something called the multi-trap. Very cool. I thought this was gonna be a bunker, not a cave, but uh, either way, we're going in. This is where we need to go next. Yeah. Ah. Get me in. Okay, I'm in. Night vision goggles, activate! Okay, that's my hang glider. Wrong button. Night vision goggles, activate! There it is. Let's just take a look, see what we've got in here. Looks like we go down even further now. Yeah. It's just winding around and around, going down, down, down. If this is really the food bunker, you didn't expect the guest of this island to come down in this cave. Oh my god, bats! You know what? The night vision goggles saved me because I couldn't see them. It didn't scare me nearly as much. Stupid bats! I'm just going to keep it 100 with you. I hate the night vision goggles, okay? They're too blurry. I can't see anything even though I can see stuff. Oh, okay. Here it is. The food and dining. It just must be like a, like a backup hatch or something. You know, there's got to be like a real entrance. There's no way the guests come through this cave to get down here and then have to open a hatch. Talk about not in the brochure. I would be pissed if I was a guest. Oh, yeah, we're in the kitchen. Let's check it out. Got some shelves here. Ramen noodles. Well, we're going to find all kind of food in here, but I actually have a ton of food. I'm going to be surprised if I could pick up most anything. Got some oysters there. Oh, are these bacon bites again? Yes, bacon. Oh, this is new. This is not a bacon bite. Let's eat it. Unfortunately, it doesn't tell you what it is after you eat it. Maybe there's another one around here. Hey, some arrows. To which I am full. Yeah, here we go. What are you? Steak bites. Oh, boy. Bra uh, ew. I just picked up brain bites. Did I just eat a freaking brain over there? Oh, God. Want to make sure there's nothing else on these shelves we can pick up before we go to the next room. And look at that. There was. I think we're golden. That means on to the next room. There is a key card swiper here. But I'm not going to open that yet because I would assume that's what we want to do last. That's probably going to lead somewhere. This looks like a dead end. It's just a freezer. 
Another dead body hanging from the ceiling. What else do we have? Just a bunch of dead bodies in here. Oh god. More steak bites, brain bites, bacon bites. Kinda figured there'd be something in this room, but there's really not. I don't see anything anyways. Hopefully I'm not walking right past something, but okay. Hopefully I have the key card for this. Let's find out. I do. Ooh, looks like a grow room. And I'm no dummy. This also looks like a room where we're gonna encounter some enemies pretty soon. Yep, there's babies in the next room. Okay, we can deal with them with the ax. Look at all this stuff. This is actually really cool. It's like a resort, but it's also possibly like a doomsday bunker down here. They are set up pretty good down here. All right, you knock it off, you little miserable creeps. Get chopped. All right, baby zero lagging one. Huh. Uh -oh. Blood trail, let's follow it. Hello, sir. Ooh, what is, is this like a mace? What is this? Oh, this is the crossbow. Yeah. Okay, the cool thing about the crossbow is I do believe we could use our flashlight with it. Also, what do you have here? Energy mix, cat food. Yeah, see, I can aim with my flashlight out, but when I go to reload, I believe it does put the flashlight away until the reload animation is done. But who cares about that? We can actually see in caves and use something that shoots arrows now. Oh, well, 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 look who it is. Right in your stupid leg. Now stay down. Yeah, that's right, I'm level 20 strength now. Well, 21. Actually left all of my mutant armor at home because I think I had like a full load on me, so we're gonna have double load if I keep killing mutants today. I hear something. What do I hear? Give that bow back, or give me that arrow back. I could have sworn I just heard something over here moving around. But we killed all the babies, did we not? Yeah, they're dead. Okay. Just hearing stuff. It's nothing. That's my famous last words. It's nothing. Of course it's gonna be something. What you got? More crossbow bolts. I don't trust it. It's awfully dark back here. Printer resin. Batteries. Box. Light bulbs. C4. Okay, I'm full on light bulbs. I should have dropped those off at home. I did drop off my C4, and as a matter of fact, I made three sticky bombs, plus I have a bunch of Molotovs. So whatever we run into today, we are definitely prepared for. Most definitely. Tape. Resin, dead people, another corridor to go down. All right, so far we're not dead. This is good. Ooh, water, huh? Oh, we gotta swim a little bit, okay. It's flooded in here. Well, I don't think there's any underwater enemies, so I feel kind of safe right now, actually, so this isn't so bad. Yeah, not much going on in here, just flooded rooms. Let's go through here. Okay, looks clear. I say there's no underwater enemies, but who knows what they added with the 1.0 update when the game got into full release. So I'm not taking any chances. Better leave the flashlight out. Ah, looks like we've got a light at the end of the tunnel here. A way out, perhaps? Not sure. First, we got to check out this way. Which looks like another dead end, more of nothing. Oh, wait. Oh, we got stairs going up here. Okay. Ah, this is cool. I remember this from early access and I don't believe the monitors had anything on them at all. So I am interested here. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Looks like just a ton of mutants in a large room somewhere. It's rewinding. Oh, that's the Puftins right there. Puftin one and two. Barb and not Barb. And everybody is turning into mutants. So something happened where all of the guests of this resort, including the Puftons, it looks like, at least Barbara anyways, who's on camera clear as day, all turned to mutants. It's either has something to do with Solophyte, the, that giant cube that's made of Solophyte, or Jianyu. Somebody's behind all of this. Let's see what's on this computer here. Wild story. Plane crash survivor claims pharmaceutical company experimenting on mutated humans. That, I believe, would be us from the forest. You know, it's 20 years later or whatever it is. So we're older now, but I think that's probably us from the first game. We are no longer us from, a first, from the first game. We're a totally different character in this one, but interesting that they're showing him, and we definitely saw Timmy, who we rescued in the first, 
game earlier in this series. So Timmy and his dad are here. Important. Countdown calculations. John Yu. Someone needs to tell Puffton. I don't think the calculations mean what they think they do. Something very bad could happen. Oh yeah, you don't say. You don't say. Everyone on the island can be in danger. I won't be a part of this. Dr. Masaki. Yeah, and we did find a note yesterday that said John Yu was going to come back and see what happened to all of the guests in that email that he had with what I'm thinking is the Sahara Corporation. So John Yu left the island in time for this event not to affect him. It could be the cube, I'm thinking now. It definitely seems likely the cube did this. The cube that they all thought was going to restore their age, make them young again. Idiots! People always trying to play God. What do we have here? Hey, this is where their boats arrived. They left them abandoned there. Someone needs to clean this up. Oh, that is actually going to be kind of close to the maintenance sea bunker that we're going to. So we'll make a pit stop today to that little uh, cove and check out these boats. Nice piece of intel right there. And then, of course, we have another location computer. The residential bunker. So somewhere else the game is pointing us to go to. Ooh, slug ammo. Shotgun rail, which we already have. Maybe we can get a second shotgun at some point, and I can give that to Virginia. We could both have a shotgun. Because if they're giving us extra accessories, I would assume we can get an extra gun. Now, didn't we have another way we could go? Yeah, I think so. But we're kind of starting to figure stuff out now, which is awesome. I love when you start to figure out stuff in these kind of games. It really gets me invested into it. Open Sesame. Virginia's key card. Oh, God, I remember this. Oh, no. I did not expect this today. All right, hold on. Okay. Uh, that room we're about to walk in just so happens to be the same room from the monitor we were just looking at. Meaning... Oh, good. I've got a spare deer head. That's helpful. Meaning I think we're about to do battle with the Puftons in mutated form. All right. I guess we'll use the shotgun. But I also have some sticky bombs. Cutscene. It's happening. Yeah, let's sneak around. Be smart about this. Oh, that's another... That looks like a team. John Yu! It's John Yu! And the Puffins! Here we go! Oh crap! Get my shotgun at the ready. These guys are fast if I remember correctly. Yeah! Stay away, Barb! Doesn't have to be like this, Barb! You get away to Oh my god! I just sent that one mutant flying! I put on one of those pieces of mutant armor too, so just in case. Yeah, we're just gonna have to kind of kite these guys around the room, I'm thinking. You want some? You want some? You want some? You got some. Oh, there's Barb. Yeah. Bitch! Get away from me! Woo! Okay. All right. Boy, they do not die easy, do they? Reload. I've already put about six or seven shots into Barb. Oh, God. Oh, I think I killed Barb. Did I? No, I did not. Jesus. No, I didn't. I definitely did not. There's Edward. Try to focus on these little mutants first. Get them out of the way. Oh, I missed. Wasted ammo. No, you don't. Oh, my God. What was that move? Jesus, hold on. Hold on. Oh, God. Okay. What happened? Okay, we are out of armor now. But I'm also in a spot I don't think they're allowed to... Okay, never mind. I was about to say, I don't think they're allowed to come here. This may work to my advantage, though. They don't seem like they really want to come in here, and they certainly won't go in the water. I need to see if I can make some armor really quick. Oh, only one piece of tape. I can make one piece of armor. Crap. I just went through all of that armor on my body. I had like six or seven pieces on. They hit hard, but guess what? I can hit just as hard, but I've got to stick them. Stuck them. Get in the water. Boom, Mr. Puffton. Oh, good lord, you're still alive? Oh, I missed, but stay right there. Oh, they're both there. Yes! Yes! Oh! Oh, look at this! Everybody's dead. I just took the puffed-in skin. That's pretty gross. But he is a mutant, so it makes sense. Um, I did blow up almost all of the mutant. What the heck is this? Uh-uh. Nope. That's a twinsy, but it's not alive, so that's good. 
or twins. I don't know what you want to call them. There's a lot of mutants around here. It's too bad I can't get their armor off of them. That would be really helpful right now. So what we saw during that little cutscene, I believe was John Yu with his own security team. I think it's safe to assume that's the people flying around in the helicopter. All these extra team members that every time I see them, I keep calling them Bravo team. I don't think they're all Bravo team members. All right, I think there was like six of us total when the two helicopters crashed at the beginning of the game. We have found dozens of soldiers, it looks like. They're probably John Yu's people. And then I'm guessing John Yu jumped in the water. He had a rebreather on. So I guess that's what we'll do next after I search this room. Oh yeah, look. The countdown clock is at zeros across the board. They definitely got turned by the cube. 100% if all the Laura reading is correct. Well, I definitely don't want to miss anything in this room. It's just so huge. So if I find something, I will bring you guys back. But far as I can tell, we need to jump in the water next. Also, I figured out some more of our backstory for the character we're playing as. I was actually high. Oh, here we go. Oh, look, it's the name card for Barbara Puffton. So that confirms it. that was definitely Barbara. And I'm guessing this next one over here is Edwards. Would you put it down, please? So I can pick up Edwards. Put it down. This must be Edwards. I've collected myself. Sorry for yelling. Edward puffed in. Okay, yeah, we definitely found and killed them. So anyways, I was hired as a journalist to come here and report uh, any, any of my findings here on the island. And they sent me to the island with my own security force, which was uh, Bravo team and Alpha team. So I'm not even a soldier. Isn't that crazy? I'm doing all right, though, for a non-soldier. Is this, is this lore? It's patient information. That's all. Okay. Well, I guess there's nothing left to do but jump in. Here we go. But where are we going? Oh, it's so dark. It's so dark. Uh, I guess we're just going to keep swimming around until we find some place to go to. Yeah, this looks good. There's a cavern in front of me here. We will go this way. For it is the only way to go. That was such a cool, like, mini boss fight. I enjoyed that. All right, looks like we're coming out of the water. Here we are. Okay. Let's get the flashlight out. Crossbow at the ready. Oh, yeah. You want to try me today? I've got a crossbow. Got to reload. Oh, God. So that's terrifying. It gets completely dark when you reload it. I'm back in the water. You want to go again? I think I reloaded. Oh, I didn't reload. The water stopped me from reloading. Okay. I have to do this old school, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I want to try to parry. I heard you could parry in this game. Let's see if I can do it. Apparently, you will stun them if you parry correctly. I did not parry correctly. I did not parry correctly again. Wait. I know what the problem is. I have completely forgotten that I am, in fact, the parry master. So now I should be able to parry no problem. Give it your best shot, pal. Uh, I'm out. Okay. All right. No more parrying attempts. Let's just take some medicine and stop laying around. <laughs> Out of my face. All right, two down, one to go. You're next, pal. You are next. Let me reload. Let me just get a quick reload. Don't come over here. Don't come over here. I think he's over here. Hold still, hold still. Yeah, right in your stupid stomach. Didn't kill him. Yeah. All right, he's down. Good for me. I did it. Just heard a very weird humming noise. I don't know what it was. I only heard it one time. Oh God. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm hoping this is the way out and we're not gonna have any more surprises, including bats. Nope, no bats. Okay, good. I hear noises though. Let's go for a headshot this time. Oh, that was a headshot for sure. Reload and shoot. Oh, another headshot. Yeah, I think we got him in two hits. That was good. I've just gotta get used to this whole reloading mechanic. Takes a couple seconds, babies. My arch nemesis. The bane of my existence. Oh, there was a third baby. Not anymore. Oh, is this a door coming up? What am I looking at? Oh, no. Okay, it looks like an exit. Oh, good. We're getting out of here. Okay. Yeah. Good. It's daytime, too. Perfect. Okay, well, we know the fate of the Puftons, which is pretty much why I was sent here to begin with. So, can we leave now? We just got to get that helicopter to land for it. Oh, boy. Uh-uh. Out of the tree, mister. I think I missed him. Wait, did you go up higher? Where did you go? Oh, you're hopping tree to tree like a little monkey. Gotcha. This will be the end of you. Oh, your armor. 
It is saving your butt right now. Oh, he's dead. Okay, he's dead. There is no saving him. Where the heck am I at? Okay, I am here. Okay, we need to go in this direction to that uh, cove. And we saw like a, a little note and there's apparently some boats over there. So we're gonna head over that way and we'll stop and investigate anything that we may see along the way. I'm hoping daylight's not gonna be an issue. It does, oh, hey, new berries. It does seem to be getting a little darker. What are you guys? Uh, good for me, okay. You are blackberries, nice. Yeah, the sun seems to be getting a little lower. It's starting to get a little shady. So I'm thinking once we get to the boats, we might camp out there tonight. Sounds like it might be safe. We could just stay on the boat in the water and nothing can get to us. What is this? Dead cultists. Look at that. They got some notes here, but it doesn't look like I could pick them up. Oh, it's just some uh, pictures of crosses. Yeah, they dead. They dead as hell. Oh, even more cultists. It's interesting because I think they said in that note that we found about the boats, this is where they landed. I'm wondering if they're talking about these cultists here. Okay, they got supplies with them though. Carbon fiber arrows, some more nine millimeter. I'm hoping we find another nine millimeter. Oh good, some shotguns, some slugs. Matter of fact, I didn't realize that I had two types of ammo. Yeah, set to buckshot now. I had the slugs in during that boss fight. Oh, I hear something. I hear something. Let's just keep it moving. We don't have a lot of time before nightfall. We're getting close to the cove now. And also Virginia has joined me. She just showed up. She's behind me somewhere. I think that's what I was hearing. So she's got our back. Oh, ambush. You little sneaky devil. I don't have time. The sun's setting. I'm just going to run. What the heck is that? I see red over here. Oh, it's red smoke. That usually indicates somebody who's about to die. Hey, buddy, I'm here just in time for you to do. Okay, well, what do you have at least? Hopefully something good, some wires and stuff. All right, hold on. Don't think we're alone. I heard some cannibals. We got some food here. Man, tell me you've got something good here. I guess we could save our game and just camp out here and go to sleep tonight right here. Oh, good, some more C4 so I can make some more of those bombs, which came in super clutch. Yeah, he didn't really have anything cool here. Every time I found one of these guys, I think anyways, they've had something pretty useful around them. Maybe we'll take a look, a better look in the morning. For now, I think it's smart if I just go to bed. Of course it woke me up. All right, we're not alone out here. Where are they? Who's that? Oh, that's Virginia. Virginia, get over here. Come on. Actually, nothing is coming and attacking me. I'm going to try to go back to sleep. Oh, it worked. Perfect. Good. Let's get out of here. Come on, Virginia. Actually, we wanted to check around in the morning and make sure I'm not leaving anything. You know, I I guess there's nothing here. Is this a dig spot maybe? No. Okay, the ground just looks a little different there. All right, let's just keep going. To the cove. Give me a little breakfast MRE. And then also, someone in the comments mentioned... When would you get a can opener? Well, make sure you watch to the end of the videos. I know that they're long and sometimes you don't have time, but sometimes I throw bonus footage at the end and I did find the can opener and add it to the end of a video. So I've had the can opener for a while now, but here we go. Let's check out the cat food. I think this is our first experience with it. Oh, oh God. You know what that reminds me of? All right, I cannot be the only one. Who has had Thanksgiving cranberries that come in a can and when it comes out it looks like that i have all right i'm gonna eat this now oh god he just threw it in a he just threw it in his mouth like a piece of popcorn that's disgusting dude all right we're full now that's good at least let's get some water uh-oh now it's winter time again oh i didn't see the signs i never even noticed the signs usually you'll see like orange in the leaves to let you know it's fall or whatever i did, wasn't even paying attention well, at least we're set up a little bit better this go around than we were last winter. So I've been here for a full calendar year now. Oh God, oh God, we are surrounded. He's dead. Oh, he dropped a pouch for me, good. Yeah, get him, get him, Virginia. And I do have some fur back at home so we can make the fur armor. And as a matter of fact, I can go ahead and put on my hoodie now, which should, I don't know if it fully keeps you warm, but it should warm me up to hopefully where I don't get that freezing debuff which penalizes your stamina. Hate that. Don't want that. Yeah, here we are. And I believe I just saw a sailboat down here. Oh boy, it is bright. It's really hard to see actually. Now I don't see it, but I'm pretty sure I saw a sailboat. So I'm going to jump off now. 
with my glider. And hopefully I was right about seeing a sailboat. Oh yeah, there it is. There she is, right there. There's two of them. All right, let's check this out. Yeah. What do we have? A cooking pot. Yeah, it's cultist, all right. So they came to the island, probably in search for the artifact, would be my guess. Which is why, or maybe they hid the artifact on the island, broke it into seven pieces. That's why we see a bunch of crosses every time we do find an artifact piece, maybe. Silas, blow it up. Blow the wall right out. You'll be able to sneak in. Everyone will be at the party. Sneak right in. Ivan. Uh, possibly terrorist cultist? <laughs> I have no idea. Sounds like they had plans for the Puffton as well as Janyu. I don't know that Janyu is working with these guys, but yeah, it seems like they were no, up to no good as well. Missing CEO. Edward Puffton and his family are still missing. Authorities still looking for clues. I am getting that cold and wet debuff. What if I pull out my torch? Does that help at all? I can't remember. I think it does, actually. Yeah, we're going to have to put on some of that nice armor once I get home and I'm able to make some. The Realm Beyond. Okay. Looks like a spaceman on the cover looking at a city. Interesting. Put that away. Pull this back out, please. A pretty nice yacht. Um, what else do we have? Ramen. I'm full on that. Crosses. They love their crosses. Energy bar. An outfit. It's pajamas. Oh, my God. Can I put those on Kelvin? Because that would be hilarious. He acts like a kid. And it looked like a onesie uh, pajama suit. It's trash out of the way. I can't get by the trash. Okay, I got it. What do you have? What does this say? He's got a note on his chest. Oh, non-believer. There was a Judas amongst them and they just stabbed him with a bunch of steak knives. Jeez. Medicine. And I guess that is it. But there was a second boat. Let's go see what's in that one. Evening star. Let's get in. Hey, what? These cultists were living a pretty good life here with these yachts they have. These are nice sailboats. Oh, interesting. We got a little camera here. Oh. All right, showing the cultists sailing, I'm guessing, to the island. Their voyage to the island. Ah, a whale. Interesting. That's a good way to do storytelling. Hopefully we find more of those. Hopefully I haven't overlooked any of them. Oh, we got pictures on the wall. What the hell is this? What is this? Any of you guys play Resident Evil, what was it, 8? Yeah, with the Metamycete. Reminds me of that. Only a few of you will understand that reference. For the rest of you, it looks like a giant virus of some kind that has overtaken a landscape. Is what it kind of looks like to me. No clue. Is that Timmy on the cover of Date Magazine? Conspiracy theories. From the insane to the truly bizarre. Yeah, I think that's Timmy. I love finding little stuff like that. It's so cool. All right, let's take a look around. I think we found what we came in this one for. It was probably that videotape, which is awesome. And I hope we find more of those. What else is in here, though? Oh, we got a watch. Oh, got something else here. Silas, the entrance will be in Puffton's home. Make sure you close the gold door after you enter. Ivan, it is a map of the island we're on with an X marks the spot. The Puffton's home is over that way. Something about a gold door. Guess we will get to that when we get to that. All right, let's leave this. And we got to get over that way because that's where the maintenance bunker is. Uh, unfortunately, we really don't know why the cultists are here, but I think it's safe to assume... It has something to do with the artifact. Either they brought the artifact to the island or they have found it while they were here and then scattered it around the island, maybe. Also, they, it looks like they were here to stop the Puffton's uh, research into the gold cube. So it seems like the cultists know exactly what that thing is. And it seems like the Puffton's and all of their guests had no clue because it turned them all into mutants. All right, maintenance bunker is right ahead. It looks like we have a mode of transportation over here. So whatever it is, I'm going to grab it, and we're going to drive over to that maintenance bunker. I am a professional driver. I know exactly how to drive this thing. It won't be a problem for me to get straight to the... Oh, my God, is that a lake? Oh, you know what? It's probably frozen. We're good. 
Oh yeah, shortcut. Hopefully I'm still going in the right direction of the uh, maintenance bunker. Don't really know. Can I get up over this? Yes. Get back here. Crap. I just wanted to check to see if I was going the right way. I am. Let's see if it shows up on the uh, GPS for the golf cart. Yeah, it should be right. We gotta be close. Oh God, I'm not looking where I'm going. I'm just staring at the... Okay, you know what? We're getting out. We're getting out because I have to get over this cliff, not because I'm a terrible driver. I think I have to do some climbing here or maybe just go around it. Let's see if we can go around it. Oh, I am hearing the helicopter. John, you! You son of a bitch, get over here. I know what you did. I don't know exactly what you've done, but I think you're a bad person. Oh, there's a blue question mark that just popped up on the map. Oh, it's another one of these soldiers. You gonna die? Yeah. Look at that, John, you left you. That's how I know he's bad. He left one of his own behind. Oh, look, there was ammo next to this guy. Nine millimeter. Anything else? Some frozen mutants around. Okay, we've got another campsite. And then somewhere next to here should be the maintenance bunker. I don't think I can carry any more of those. Nope. Uh, tape, which is good because I was out of tape. Good, look at all this stuff. Wow. Boom box, turn it off. All right, let's go in here and check everything. Oh, a head. I just picked up a whole head. Okay, good for me. John Yu, keep an eye out. One of the Puffton's old researchers contacted Timmy LeBlanc, the kid with the mutant arm. He's also looking for the cube, Chuck. Yeah, I knew that was Timmy when we saw him a couple episodes ago. So Timmy is on the island, confirmed. See, we got a pistol rail, another pistol uh, rail. We also have two pistol silencers. So I'm hoping we can find another pistol and I can get my pistol back because I don't want to take it from Virginia because she's actually been really helpful with that thing at nighttime. Uh, I got a bunch of dead bodies in here. Kill puffed ends. Bunch of dollar signs, okay. And then what's in this? Oh, oh God. Cannibals are here. Oh, good. It's another camera thing. Let's check it out. Wakey, wakey. Oh, eggs on a fire, okay. Look at them, trying to get away. Oh, that's John Yu. Another one. He's shooting the uh, tribes, the cannibals. Oh no, he's, sh oh my God, he's killing the cultists? He did this to the cultists. Oh, wow, okay. Well, now we know how the cultists died. I just assumed the mutants killed him. Looks like John Yu captured them all and killed them. Notice of employment termination. John you, I saw your little tape. Get off my island, Ed. Edward Puffton saw something he didn't like. Obviously he didn't see him killing a bunch of cultists, I don't think. Maybe he saw some sort of espionage and fired him. Okay, stuff, I will take the stuff. More stuff. Boy, these cannibals really want a piece of me. Guys, there's a door right here. Just come on in and get some if you want it that bad. All right, I think we've searched pretty well. I'm going to make a run for this bunker over here. Hopefully, it's not one we have to dig up, but it most certainly probably is going to be. Yep, it looks like we're going to have to dig this one up, which means we must do battle with all of the cannibals now. Yeah, we dig right here. Oh, my God. Oh, jump scare. Holy crap, that scared me for real. You jerk. Uh-uh. Get back up. Get back up. Oh, he's dead. Okay, one down. Woo, right in your face. Right in your face. Huh? Just in case you're thinking about getting up, don't. Oh, God, I just accidentally ate a raw oyster. Don't put it in your mouth. Oh, dang it. Now I've got a health penalty for a little while. Crap. All right, some dried meat. Eat some of that. Oh, that was rotten. Shit. I ate a rotten oyster, and then I followed up with rotten meat. Look at my health. I cannot fix my health right now. That's terrible. Uh, you know what? I'm being an oopsie. I had to answer the phone. I've been waiting for this phone call all day and I forgot to hit pause. Apparently they have beaten me to an unconscious state and then tied me on a stick. When I came to, here I am. So let's just uh, get out of this real quick. Quickly go get my bag. And before they have a chance to attack me again, let's get some medicine in us. And because we did find some, um, some tape, I can make, I think maybe two pieces of armor right now. Make that one piece of armor. I don't have enough bones. It's always something. It is always something. But one piece of armor is better than no pieces of armor, I always say. 
And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm not taking any chances. But if any of you idiots wanna try me, I promise you, it's not gonna go your way. I see you way over here. Before I even try to dig anything up, just get you out of the equation. Holy smokes. Well, the shotgun seems to work really good on cannibals. Wasn't doing great against the mutants, but cannibals, yes. Boom, oh no, I didn't reload. I only had two buckshot shells. I had to switch back over to the slugs. And boom. At least we'll get better range with these slugs. Oh, you, you're not dead, huh? How about now? Still not, eh? You better be now. You are. I'm just gonna go for it. Hopefully I can get this open before I get attacked again. Starting to see the bunker. Yep. And I also see some more cannibals in the woods straight in front of me, but they're not coming over here. They're the little fast ones, the muds, the muddies, I think they're called. They're just covered with mud right there. That little guy, stay away. Oh boy, oh boy. It's a good thing I looked when I did. Oh crap, stay back. Oh, I shot his head off. I shot his whole head off. Boom. Ow. Uh-uh. Yep, you're next. Oh wow, you dodged a bullet. That's pretty impressive, actually. There you go. Oh, I think I got it. All right, let's get in here right now. Open it up. Maintenance C. Yep, this is the last maintenance bunker, I believe, unless we find another computer that says there's a maintenance bunker D. Who knows? Ugh. Ugh. Got it. All right, we'll be safe in here. So far, these maintenance... Uh, bunkers have been really small it's just consist of the maintenance workers like bedroom his living quarters and then uh the end of the hall oh wow this one was still under construction let's see what we've got in here oh my god another pistol oh no that's a revolver oh we got some stopping power now i don't know i mean i've been picking up shotgun shells rifle ammo i haven't found a rifle yet and i've been picking up nine millimeter i wonder if nine millimeter go in this Gourd. For a deserted island, there's an awful lot of bodies we're finding. Hank, you guys don't know the half of it. You've got a new gun. Yeah, so this is where like the 3D printer is usually in the other bunkers, but this one, like I said, is not uh, finished being worked on yet. So yeah, no bedroom. And certainly there won't be a bathtub with a dead body in it. Ha, no dead body in the bathtub. Okay, cool. We found a revolver. But of course, we still want to go down this way and see what kind of supplies we can get from here. Wires, battery, I'm pretty much full on my inventory space right now. Uh, what else do we have? 3D printer stuff and a box with tape and batteries. Batteries are always good. Yeah, I think that we have fully searched this. We got a revolver. That would probably be the key item that it wanted you to find and we found it. As for me, I think I'm going to stay down here until the next episode, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure to drop a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And as always, it's been your boy, Lagging24, and I will see you uh, next time.